Welcome to Jitex Insights. I am joined by Tarek Uzbari, the Regional Director for Middle East and Africa at Pico Security. Welcome, Tarek. Thank you, Adil. Thank you. Okay. So just to start us off with, can you just share some um, insights as to what Pico Security is highlighting at Jitex this year? So Jitex this year is quite interesting, like the diversity of the, of the vendors participating, the audience who's there. I've never seen it as busy as it is today. And we're thrilled to be part of Jitex this year in order to present our latest innovation within the exposure validation. So we're working with our customers in order to show how we can help them improve their investment, getting the value of what they're having right now and leveraging these latest technology to secure themselves. Great. And as we all know, AI is um, impacting um, everything across the technology space, especially in cybersecurity. So now when it comes to exposure validation, how is Pika Security leveraging AI to enhance that solution? So there is no doubt within cybersecurity, we have to be you know, ahead of the cyber criminal. And already the cyber criminal are already leveraging the AI in order to improve their tactics, improve their phishing uh, approach, finding a different and innovative way in order to target organization. And within Picus, we've been at the forefront of that. So we're helping the organization in different ways, leveraging the AI in order to improve their security posture. So first of all, we launched uh, at the beginning of this year our new week AI. It's a cybersecurity analyst that's helping the organization in order to improve the outcome and insight from different sources of the validating their security through the security control validation or through the attack path validation uh, within their organization to make a better decision how they can prioritize their initiative, how they can focus their investment, what target group they should focus on in order to, to build a better defenses and more proactive approach. So that's one of the ways that we're doing. Beside on, on that, we're leveraging a lot of our AI to build more context on the vulnerability management for the organization. I think this is one of the major challenges. Like I always hear from CISOs, from security teams, that they are not able to patch all their vulnerabilities, right? And most of the, the, the vendors who are operating that space, they're doing a great job. They usually provide the scoring and the risk from an outside view for these organizations. So what we're doing, we're leveraging the AI and the internal context of the organization in order to provide a context approach to these validate to these uh, vulnerabilities. So providing them with more insight on where they should patch first and why this should be first, because it's more relevant to their organization. It cannot be stopped, and this is the evidence that this vulnerability can really exploit it within the, 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 uh, their environment. So we're trying to disrupt that ecosystem with our exposure approach, and it's quite you know great platform for Tatek to present that. Great, yeah, and also it gives them a lot more visibility on what they should prioritize. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I think one of the challenges that CISO face right now is communicating value and justifying what they're doing in cybersecurity. I think with other uh, departments, if we talk about IT, for example, it's easy for, for a CIO or head of application to go to the board and tell them, we launched new application, we generated this new traffic, these revenue for the company. Security usually it's very challenging on how to communicate that, right? Within Picus, we're quantifying that. So we're providing the tool for the security team in order to say, we are improving our security posture by this level, and we have managed to decrease the risk for the company by this amount. And moving the discussion from a technical discussion to more risk-based type of discussion. And this is something, you know, CISOs, they love it. Board members who are not technical usually love to be communicated in this way. Okay, thank you so much. So, I want to know then as well, like beyond technology development, beyond offering these solutions, how else is Pico Security contributing to shaping the future of the AI economy? So we do believe on that on we have to contribute to the industry, right? And I think this is at the core values of the company. And we started initially by launching our uh, mock university, an open massive online courses university for cybersecurity, which is called Purple Academy. It's open for everyone. You can go to that website, register there, and you will have access for a huge amount of, of uh, you know courses uh, on cybersecurity. So if you're just fresh graduate, you want to penetrate cybersecurity, it's a great starting point. If you're already in the cybersecurity industry and you want to take it to the next level, we have a more advanced courses there, all free of charge. So this is part of our contribution uh, to the industry. And also for those who usually look for credits in order to continue their certification with different organization, these courses are being considered as part of their continuous learning in order to keep their certification. So it's a great you know, platform to start with. Thank you so much for sharing that.